With that, speaking of fighting, if you would like to make your way representative, Sheldon Galloway to the stage, we have a very interesting treat. See, now here's the deal. I never really know how these are going to come together. I might try to call somebody to speak ahead of time. I did not call Lola to speak ahead of time. But since I arrived, I found out she's a representative. She stands up for what's important for the future of the, our citizens, in particular our kids. And she said something that was extremely significant to me a moment ago. I actually work at killing more bills than I pass. And that's the role of a great legislator because it's the, I, I just think the United States federal government ought to go on recess till January 2nd, 2022. That's what I'm looking forward so they don't mess anything else up. But the other thing that happened, Jordan Hall, and a thank you to making this happen, be of my awareness, her family homesteaded right here, Loma, Montana. The perfect welcome, Representative Sheldon Galloway. You never know what the Lord calls you to do. I just came to be inspired by somebody else's words and was just asked to come on stage. Have you ever really contemplated the question, oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave, or the land of the free and the home of the brave? When I hear those words as the Star Spangled Spanner is being sung, I always get tears in my eyes because I'm seeing people who want to take it away from us. I've had relatives that fought in World War II, Korean War, on up till today. Yes, my great-grandparents came to Loma, Montana on a train and they said what they saw was waist-high grass and a sign that said Campbell. So Loma has always been a dear place for me. Done many roller skating in the Loma Hall when we've had family get-togethers. Thank you, Loma, for hosting this tonight. I'd like to talk about some things that came to mind in the last few minutes. What is your role in government? Think about that. In 2010, I was asked to run as a representative. I did not win my first campaign. But in 2016, it came really strong to me to run as a representative. I had a good life, and I still do. But a lot of that had to be given up to go to Helena for 90 days, 90 working days. And I cry sometimes when I think about the 25 piano students that had to go find a different teacher, something that I dearly loved. I gave up being a substitute piano player for a lot of kids in school because I dearly loved that. And my children even to this day say, Mom, and I'll say, sorry, I got something to do. Grow up and maybe make some of your own decisions without mom always hanging right there being a helicopter mom. But each one of you, I believe, has a role to play in government. It might be just simply being aware of a certain topic and sharing that topic with your neighbor. And I know we have a group here that says, talk to 10, and those 10 talk to 10 and those 10 talk to 10, and those t talk to 10. And pretty soon, we've had that conversation with more than just the people that you originally talked to. It's a great concept, and we need to do that. Sometimes, as a legislator, you get caught up in a topic, and people want you to vote a certain way. And the right way to vote is God's way. And God's way is by starting each day with prayer and asking him to do the right thing for that day for people that you don't even know in the right. So I want to share with you an incident that happened this session. We had a day where they shut down our session. We weren't supposed to go in. 
but many of us felt that we had been elected to go in. So we went in and sat on the House floor, and the tension just got more and more and more, and we were just beside ourselves. Something was going on, and we really didn't know, and we felt that they were using this COVID for an excuse for what was going on, and we just couldn't put our finger on it. And one of the representatives said to us, we need to pray. And so 12 of us went into the floor, house floor, and we joined hands, and we prayed to God that God would give us direction on what we needed to do, that God would guide us in every step of our way, and that we might feel a peace within our souls that he was directing us. We ended our prayer, and one of the representatives looks up, and if you've ever been on the house floor, we have a glass ceiling there, and the sun shines, and that sun came in and beamed on us, and he looked at us, and he said, I don't know what the answer is, but I know I feel God's peace, and we are going to be oh. Okay, we're going to get through this. And I will testify to you that I know that when you're built on the foundation of God, you stand on his principles, you study his word, you build that strength, that you are able to make the correct decisions at the right time and at the hard times. But I would like you to get involved somehow. In Cascade County, I'm from Great Falls, we have a group that we are now being actively involved. We write emails, we make phone calls, we write letters, we talk to each other, we pick our favorite issue, and we get involved. So please, don't let somebody take this away from you. I am so proud to represent my great-grandparents that came here in waist-high grass and develop farms between here and Big Sandy. My mother's father lived on the Marias, and my great-grandfather lived on the Teton. I am proud to represent them and have a Montana heritage. What will your grandchildren say to you if you're not a fighter today? You have to be a fighter today. You have to stand up. You have to be bold. And I will li leave with you this. God will give you your direction, what you need to do. Listen to his voice and go for it. And let's keep America great. Thank you. Good thing you didn't come prepared. <laughs> so how good would it be if she came prepared? That's my question. My goodness. Thank you, Lola.